Hello everyone, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a collective reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, here we go. Let's see their feelings. Spirit, angels, and guys, please show me what are this person's current feelings for the collective, whoever it is that the collective is currently connecting to and dealing with in love. Thank you, Spirit. Here we go. First card we have here is the Six of Wands. We also have the King of Wands. And we also have the Seven of Swords in their feelings. At the bottom of the deck. Uh, give me a second. At the bottom of the deck, Two of Wands to the Nine of Cups to the Five of Pentacles. Interesting. Okay. Mm. Okay. Interesting. This feels like your energy here. Six of swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. This feels like your energy collective. It feels like you're moving on or you're trying to move on. Um, you feel really left out in the cold. You feel really neglected or rejected, undervalued also, abandoned. Um, let's just say you don't, you're not happy, right? Nine of Cups is here, which is a card of happiness. Nine of Cups to the Five of Pentacles. You don't feel happy in this relationship or in, the, or in this connection with this person that you've been dealing with. And with the Two of Wands, this is you thinking that the grass has to be greener on the other side. It has to be greener on the other side because, because all you've been experiencing is heartbreak and disappointment while while in a relationship with this person while connecting to this person it's been it's been very unfulfilling so you're reaching this conclusion of the grass is greener on the other side and i feel like you want to explore with the six of swords you want to explore the other side you want to explore that what you think is greener grass Some of you feel like it's time. Also, it's it's time to to step out of this relationship or step out of this cycle that you've been a part of. You know, it's time to be happy, you know, and it's time to put yourself first and to do what what you feel is best for you. Yeah, because the Five of Pentacles can imply that you've been putting this person's happiness above yours or this person's needs above your own. And um, it basically has led you towards misery and feeling, like I said, abandoned, rejected, left out in the cold. Okay. So I feel, like the, I feel like this is you deciding to move on. I want to look at the Two of Wands, actually, because I want to see what's in your mind a little bit more. Tell me about the Two of Wands, please. You've been feeling stuck for a while. Yeah. It's almost like you've always known that this is what you should have been doing, you know, um, letting this go, moving on with your life. But I feel like you never made that decision, like you never felt that push until now. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. I feel like now you feel that push, you feel that big motivation, strong motivation to actually physically move yourself and not just think about it, you know? 
but actually do it. Okay. Tell me more about the Two of Wands. Oh, geez, Nine of Swords. Okay, lots of lots of stress here. Um, a lot of um, overthinking, overthinking things, feeling conflicted. Yeah, and it's connected again to the Two of Wands. So this is a decision that you've been feeling a lot of conflicting feelings over. The decision to move on, basically, with the Six of Swords. The decision to let to let this go. Whatever this is that has been causing you pain and disappointment. The decision to put yourself first. You know, it, it's, it's been a struggle for you to make that decision. Why is that? Kind of curious. Let's look at the Nine of Swords. Tell me about the Nine of Swords, Spirit. Actually, you know what? I think the Five of Pentacles. Hmm. I think the Five of Pentacles has the answer. Let's look at that one instead. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so oh, we have the sun. Oh no, that's sad. Well, you know, the sun represents your confidence, um, your level of self-confidence. It also represents your level of self-worth. I feel like that's something that this person really um, affected. I can already see this is not a good person. Like, I, I, haven't e I haven't even digged into their energy, but come on. I mean, seven of swords, you know, king of wands, player energy, male or female, doesn't matter the gender, six of wands, ego. So it's... Immediately, it's obvious to me this is not a good energy or a good person without even digging into their energy. I don't, I don't, I don't need to do that. It's just very upfront here. So this person definitely affected your um, your self confidence and your self your sense of self worth. They influenced it. They damaged it. They they affected it. Mm -hmm. And it caused you to stay in this relationship more than you should have stayed. This is kind of like a fear of, you know, what if, what if I never find anyone else? Or what if I never have any other relationship? Or, you know... What if the grass isn't greener on the other, on the other side? You know, I don't know what, actually, let me look at the Nine of Swords. It's just, in general, just fears and insecurities that, you know, I don't even feel like are your own fears and insecurity, insecurities. I feel like it's, it's coming from this person. I feel like this person transfers their energy towards you, their negative energy and their, their, their own insecurities, their own fears get transferred over to you. You know, because this is someone who acts like they're confident on the outside, but internally, this person is not confident at all. They're very, very insecure. So I feel like some of that basically transferred over to you. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Okay, yeah, the star. Yeah, this is kind of like, what if I never find anyone better or anything better? You know, just the fear of the unknown, basically. So some of you just kind of became accustomed to this person or accustomed to this relationship. And, you know, this person, like I said, influenced your, your self-confidence in a negative way to the point where you felt like, this is as good as it gets. Even though you felt miserable, you know? So, anyway. Yeah, I feel like that's, that's what's happening here. This energy is intense. The good thing is that you're getting out of that. That's the good part here. 
I feel like you're starting to recognize that you don't need this person, you know, um, this isn't as good as it gets. Uh, you deserve better. You deserve more. It kind of looks like you're you're starting to step into your power now a lot more than you had before. You're starting to um, elevate in your self-confidence and your self-worth. It just kind of looks like this person pushed you to um, the point of no return. But I guess it's a good thing in a way because it's making you, you know, recognize how bad this situation is for you, you know, or how unhealthy this situation is for you. And again, it's like you're starting to like see the light with the sun card, see the light, see the truth. So uh, it's a good thing that this person disappointed you or hurt you again, you know, even though it doesn't feel good, um, but at least it's creating that, that push, you know, for you to finally kind of um, let this go for good, let this person out, let this relationship go for good and, and cut this person out of your life for good. It just kind of looks like you kept giving this person the benefit of the doubt. Or you kept get giving this person chance after chance. Um, but at this point, there's no way to disguise the truth anymore. It's just very obvious at this point that this person is who they are, you know? And, and it's never going to change. And I feel like maybe you were hoping it would change or you were waiting for this person to change. But I feel like you're in this, you're at this point where it's, like I said, it's obvious with the sun card. It's too obvious at this point that, you know, this person is, they are who they are. And it's time for you to accept that and, and let it go. All right. What else am I doing here? Let's clarify this person's energy. I don't know what this person's doing here. I think I'm done with you. Collective. Let's see. King of Wands, male or female, could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. What can you tell me about this King of Wands spirit? What can you tell me about this King of Wands? So, ooh, geez, we have the moon here. So now we have the moon and the seven of swords. This, rep this represents manipulation, also secrecy and lies. That's probably no, no surprise to you, I'm guessing. Yeah, so this person's uh, hiding something, lying about something. Um, making plans to manipulate you in some way. I feel like they're looking at you. This person's looking at someone. I feel like they're looking at you for some reason. Yeah. I feel like this person is looking at, oh, I see. Okay. I see. This is what it is. They're looking at the six of wands. I feel like this is how they're looking at you. Yeah. So it's like they're looking at you stepping into your power with the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is a card of confidence and power, control. Yeah, this is how they're viewing you. You're taking control of your life. You're stepping into your power. You're being more confident. And you're taking action um, away from this person instead of towards them. Hmm. 
So this person's a little bit confused also with the moon card. They're a little bit confused about why you're behaving this way. They feel like something is up with you with the seven of swords. They feel like you're hiding something. You're keeping some kind of secret. All right. Tell me more about the uh, King of Wands. All right, so we have the Queen of Cups. We also have the Three of Swords. I'm getting the phrase, her people, her people, connected to this person. Her people, her people. Queen of Cups and the Three of Swords. Something is changing here. Uh, it almost feels like the tables are turning. Is that what is that is that what's happening? I feel, this feels like the tables are turning all of a sudden. This person is noticing how the tables are turning, and and they're not liking it. They're kind of in this energy of like, wait a second, this is this is not how how things are supposed to be going. Uh, what's going on here? Like, something's different. So they're noticing that you're different. You're not behaving the same way that they're used to seeing from you. And it's throwing them off. And it's, you know, messing with their mind. It's throwing them off. So I don't know what you used to do before, but whatever it is that you used to do, it kind of looks like you're not doing it now. And they're confused because that's not what they were expecting from you. They weren't expecting you to like uh, switch up the rules. You know, it's almost like you're, you're changing the rules of the game. Or like the, the power dynamic the power dynamics between you and this person are changing, are, are, are flipping or switching. You're now in, in the seat of power where they used to be. You're now sitting in the chair of power where they used to sit. They don't like this new confidence that you have. They don't like this, this, this brand new energy of confidence that you're harnessing. It doesn't benefit them. It doesn't favor them. Interesting. All right, tell me about the Seven of Swords. All right, we have the death card. What else can you tell me about the Seven of Swords, Spirit? <clears throat> Ooh, the devil. Jeez, the death card and the devil. Hmm, let's get one more. That, that devil card scared me. <laughs> Okay, magician. The magician and the devil with the death card. What a combination. What a combo. Three major arcanas connected to the seven of swords. Death. Yeah, this is why I'm saying they don't like it. The death card, they feel like they're losing you. They feel like this relationship is, um, is slipping away from their fingers. And with the magician and the devil, I feel like this is the energy that you were dealing with coming from them. Again, this is a manipulator. Heavy, heavy on the... Heavy manipulator. Very... Um, someone obsessed with power and control. Someone obsessed with having things their way. 
forcing things to be their way or to go their way. Very, very toxic energy. It's interesting because it just kind of looks like you, um, you're not falling under this influence anymore. Because with the magician, this is someone who's very, um, what do you call that? Like they're very skilled, you know, they're very skilled at convincing people of, of whatever they want people to believe, you know? They're very skilled at lying. They're very skilled at being persuasive and convincing. But it kind of looks like it's not working anymore. Like I said, it kind of looks like you are I don't even did I look at the nine of cups? Now I'm curious about what you're doing. Now I'm now I'm getting a little bit curious about your energy. Yeah, because it just kind of looks like you're not falling under that influence anymore. Why is um, the collective not falling under this influence anymore? What's changing here? Why is the collective not falling under this influence? Five of cups to the seven of wands. Okay, okay, I see. Mm. Well, you know, I think you can only do something so much, you know, so you can only do, you can, there's only so much you can do something until a person starts catching on to the pattern or until, you know, someone reaches their limit. With the seven of wands, it just kind of looks like either, either you, but I feel like you already knew the pattern though. No, I, I, no, I don't think it's that. I think you just reached a limit. That's all. Seven of wands. This is reaching a limit. Like enough is enough. It's that type of energy. Because they're not changing. Like, like they're using the same manipulation tactics. You know, the the same manipulation strategies over and over again. They're not changing their approach. They're repeating the same patterns over and over again. So yeah, it just kind of looks like you are in this energy of um, enough is enough. This person's not so smart is what I'm noticing. Hmm. This person's not so smart as they um, tell themselves they are. Because I feel like this person tells themselves that they're smart and that they're intelligent. I don't think so. I don't think they're so smart. I think they're a lot dumber than they... Um, give themselves um, credit. Because this doesn't make sense. Like, this person repeats patterns over and over again. That doesn't make sense. So they're very skilled at lying and manipulating. But that doesn't make them intelligent, clearly. Is what I'm getting. That doesn't make them, just because they're skilled, doesn't mean they're intelligent. And it's because this person lets their emotions get the best of them also. They're, they let their ego uh, get the best of them. So it's almost like they're kind of sloppy in a sense. They're kind of sloppy in the way they um, deceive and manipulate and thank god for that because um again it's definitely causing you to like reach this point of 
of, you know, no longer tolerating this person because it's just so obvious what they're doing, you know. It's just so obvious what they're doing. It's just so clear. So this person is, I feel like they're not that great of an actor also, or actress. They probably wouldn't succeed um, as an actor or actress or, or not, not for too long. Yeah, I'm just getting that this person's sloppy. And it's because of their ego. This person just has such a huge ego that they convince themselves that, you know, they're, they're a mastermind. When, when I feel like a real mastermind would laugh at them. A real mastermind would look at them as a joke. Yeah. But let's see um let's see what's going to happen moving forward. Let's see. All right, I don't know if I have to look at their intentions. I mean, I mean, yeah, let's look at their intentions just so you can be aware. You know, for the sake of awareness. Let's see, spare angels and guys, what are this person's intentions with the collective, please? Keep in mind, these readings are general. Not everyone is dealing with someone, you know, this bad. Because this person's real ba really bad. But, you know, but, you know, there's, there's different levels, I guess. Not everyone is, you know, with someone at, dealing with someone at, at this level of, of bad. <laughs> okay. Okay. What are this person's true intentions with the collective currently? We have the Queen of Pentacles. We also have Justice. We also have the Ten of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, Three of Swords to the Ace of Pentacles to the Ace of Wands. Yeah, they're definitely planning on coming towards you with this energy of uh, an apology is what I'm getting. Um, three of Swords. Hold on. Let me show you all of them. Three of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. So... I'm definitely getting um, them taking action towards you to apologize for whatever they did to you that caused you grief, um, disappointment, or heartbreak, or all of the above. Um, their intentions is to definitely um, recover the stable relationship or the stable uh, commitment that they had with you that ended with the Ten of Swords. The, the stability and the security that they feel like you represented in their life and that they lost. Their intentions is to try to recover that. And they are going to show up as, as this energy, the justice card. So they're definitely going to make themselves out to be someone who is serious, someone who, you know, wants to really work things out with you and really wants to um, fix their mistakes, fix their errors and create balance with you and create a, a stable commitment with you. But yeah, that's, that's not true. With the Seven of Swords, this person is basically telling you whatever they think you wanna hear from them, you know? Basically. All right. Let's take a look at what's going to happen moving forward. Let's take a look at the outcome. Um, what do I want to keep here? Let me keep justice. Okay. Actually, I don't, let me keep all of these. I don't think these cards are going to show up again. Mm, actually, this one might show up, so let me get this one. All right. Oh, these might show up as well. Let me get these two. All right, here we go. Spirit angels and guys, tell me, let me know the, the outcome, please. What's the outcome between the collective and this person moving forward? What's going to end up happening here between the collective and this person? All right. 
So with the outcome, we do have judgments. We also have the King of Swords. We also have the Ace of Wands. Ooh, King of Swords, huh? Bottom of the deck, High Priestess to the Hierophant. Also the Nine of Cups, which was your energy. And we have the Moon here, Star, Queen of Swords, Tower, wow. Okay, let me see. Judgment, King of Swords, Ace of Wands. The Moon and the Star, Queen of Swords, Tower. Give me a second here. Yeah, I'm still, I'm getting, I'm getting that same message of the tables have turned. The tables have turned. This King of Swords feels like your energy. So you're kind of in this energy of like, you learned your lesson. King of Swords to the Hierophant card. There's something about you learned your lesson collective. What lesson? I want to look at that. You learned your lesson. Oh, okay. It kind of looks like the lesson is connected to the high priestess, so your intuition. You know what? I feel like I said this in another reading. I feel like I said this in some other reading that I did, maybe collective reading or individual reading. Um, there's something about you learning now to listen to your intuition instead of listening to what your emotions, what your heart, what your mind is telling you. Um, you're not doing that anymore. With the high priestess, you're, you're listening to your intui intuition and you're trusting your intuition because it kind of looks like your intuition has been telling you the whole time that this person is going to disappoint you. This person is not going to change. This person is going to lead you towards heartbreak and grief and misery. But it just kind of looks like you didn't um, necessarily um, trust your intuition or follow your intuition. But with the star and the king, queen of swords, I feel like um, you've gained a new perspective of, of this person. And it feels like you've gained the clarity that you were missing or that, you know, yeah, the clarity that you weren't, I don't know what you were doing, that you were missing or that you weren't like allowing yourself to see it, even though it was in front of you, like your emotions were clouding your judgment. It kind of looks like that's not happening anymore. Yeah, you're finally understanding that this person is... Um, This person's a liar. And that's just that. It's as simple as that. It's as, it's, it's as plain and simple as that. They're a deceiver and they're a liar. And there is no excuse. There's no excuse because for some of you, you let your emotions for this person excuse them or justify them or, you know, you came up with reasons in regards to why maybe they were doing the things that they were doing and maybe it's not that bad and maybe I can give them another chance and, you know, things like that. So I feel like, um, I feel like you, you're out of that cloud or out of that fog. You're out of that fog. Um, Again, you learn some sort of lesson here. So in the outcome, I don't see you giving, giving this person another chance, even though they are going to attempt to have another chance with you. They're going to attempt it, but you've elevated here. And it's very fascinating the way, you, the way you've grown and elevated. Um, yeah. It's very fascinating. I'm curious about it. What's this lesson about the Hierophant? Tell me about the Hierophant. The, 
Page of Swords? Oh, geez, you keep getting this message. It keeps showing up that you knew. You knew, you knew all along. You know what it is? I, it just, you know, this happens. I, I feel like you just had an emotional connection. Like you felt, you had feelings for them. You had strong feelings for them. You, some of you had an emotional attachment to them. Um, you're better than this person. You're better than this person and this person doesn't deserve you. And it kind of looks like you know, you saw the signs with the with the page of swords. You saw the signs. I saw the signs, like the song, but like you never put them together, and now you're putting it all together. Like the the pieces of the puzzle are, are all coming together in your mind, and now everything is making sense. This person messed. This person slipped up. This person slipped up in some way. I don't know what they did, but. They, they triggered this enlightenment in you. I feel like this person made a mistake. I wish I knew what it was, but I'm telling you, this person slipped up. They made, and it's like a minor slip up, but you caught it. You caught it, and once you caught it, it all made sense. Like, all the, all the pieces of the puzzle came together. And it's because this person made some sort of slip up. They did something that just kind of exposed them. You know, totally exposed them. And I bet if this person knew what it was, or maybe they know what it was, they know what it was, I'm not sure. But they would be kicking themselves in the head. Like... God, that was so stupid. Why did I do that? If I wouldn't have done that, the collective would have never... Um, the, the collective would never be um, any more the wiser. The collective wouldn't be any more the wiser at this point. And you know what? You know, sometimes spirit works like that. This is um, the star, which can represent spirit. You know, sometimes spirit works like that. Sometimes spirit, like, intentionally made this person mess up or slip up so that you would catch it. And, it, and then everything would make sense to you and you would finally, like, um, see the truth of, of this person in its, in its entirety if that makes sense. All right, this reading is very specific at this point, but I'm going to stop it right here. I hope this reading made sense to you, and I hope it helped in some way. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.